Wait, you had <laughs> one. You had two upstairs. Uh -oh. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Hercules. Back with another video. Lexi making fun of me. Goddamn! Lexi making fun of me because I, I tried to do a countdown and I said three, two, one. <laughs> she got jokes. <laughs> Anyways, we about to go in here and record a full shoulder workout. As usual, I'm gonna do a, uh, I'm gonna throw some music over the top of it. I'm gonna have a workout in the description if y'all wanna try the workout. And it should be a good one. I usually gotta do bootleg camera angles, but I got somebody to record me today. So I'm gonna do one of my uh, routines from one of my programs. I haven't decided yet. I'll talk about that afterwards, but I'm gonna put it in the description. I'm about to go in here and kill this workout after I take this pre-workout. Y'all see that? Damn, I was all up in the camera. <laughs> I can't do a full scoop at once. I've seen people do it on YouTube, but I almost died when I did it one day. So we're gonna do half and another half. You gotta be smart. What is it? Work smarter, not harder. Yeah. But isn't this working harder, baby? Nah, this is working smarter. You try to do that full scoop, you're gonna be dead. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. See, I could barely handle a damn half scoop. Hey, by the way, if you're local, I got this from Complete Health Shop, Jefferson Point area. Let them know I sent you. You get you a discount. And they might throw you a free shirt or something. You never know. Just go see for yourself. Scoop number two. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. It's not as bad as my first time trying it. Remember that? Mm. And I just did. I don't even think I did a half. Oh, man. I don't even know where that video at. <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna try to find that video for y'all. I'll post this shit. If I can find the video, I'll post it. Anyway, pre workouts taken. I'm about to go in here and fuck the weights up. Mic check, mic check. What's up, YouTube? Y'all know what time it is. About to get this workout going. Had to throw that voiceover on for y'all so I can give y'all some knowledge while y'all watch the video. So, first off, we can start with some shoulder warm ups, guys. Do not go into a shoulder day without warming up your shoulders. That's the number one no no. If you're going to do it on any day where you just jump in the gym and start exercising, shoulder day would be the last way you would want to day you would want to do it on. So, I start my shoulder days off with some kind of shoulder rotation. What these are here, these are uh, resistant band shoulder rotations. What this does is you got your rotator cuff, right? So the uh, head of the humerus, which most people know the humerus bone is the bone that is, goes from your shoulder to your elbow joint. That's the humerus bone. That's why it's called the funny bone at your elbow. <laughs> Anyway, you want to take that bone and do internal and external shoulder rotations. What that does is that warms up that shoulder joint. So the head of the humerus sits inside of the rotator cuff. And when you rotate that, that small area there, those small muscles, you get some blood flow going there. You warm that part up. That way you can prevent having injuries. And in my opinion, it, it helps you have a better workout. I mean, it's kind of like a pre-exhaustion to get those shoulders burning before you start. See how I just showed y'all where I put that bar at right there? First exercise we're starting with is the standing barbell shoulder press. You want to check right there, make sure it's right up against the collarbone area, just above the upper chest. You don't want to have it too low and you don't want to have it too high because when you start getting heavy weight, you don't want to have to stand on your tiptoes or do a last minute press to get that bar back on the racks. You don't want to cause any kind of injury. That'll definitely cause you to injure yourself. 
So if you notice the way I'm standing, you can either stand with your feet square or you can stand with one foot slightly in front of the other. I like to stand with one foot slightly in front of the other one. Give me a little more balance. That way you're not falling backwards or falling forwards because standing shoulder press is a serious core exercise. You gotta have a strong core in order to keep your body upright and you don't wanna uh, hyper, you don't wanna overextend the spine. You don't wanna go have too much spinal flexion or extension. You wanna have that spine right in a neutral position. I got my hands about shoulder width apart and each time I press, notice my head. I always call it, put your head through the window come back and obviously move your head out the way on your way down see how i'm going through there that gives you a good it's a better bar path you want to have a straight bar path if you were to leave your head there and come down and try to bring the bar around your face you would that's not good for the rotators you would turn it into a front raise slash shoulder press so once again bringing that bar down right underneath the chin everybody's mobility is different so I bring it right down to about right under my chin and then I press from there. You don't have to come all the way down to your chest. If you have the mobility, feel free to do it, but there is no proper range of motion on these in my opinion. It depends on the person. Had to come up out of that shirt, starting to get hot in there. Rocking that Total Alpha Conquer racer tank top. That bad boy fit good. I'm sitting at like a hundred and I was sitting like 179 pounds in this video, so I'm pretty lean. The cut is almost over, so I'll be bulking soon. So I gotta get these videos out the way so y'all can see the nice lean physique. Once again, slow and controlled. Hands about shoulder width apart. Keeping that bar path straight up and down. Control the weight, guys. No momentum. Moving on to that fourth heavy set. 135, 135 for at least, I like to go six to 10. This is my compound movement. I always got one, my first movement per muscle group is usually a compound movement. And my rip range on that is like six to 10. Everything else, I try to stay between 10 to 12, 10 to 15 reps, but I want to make sure that strength stays, so I do some heavier lifting at the beginning, which, believe it or not, when I'm bulking, this is nothing, man, but when I'm at 179, this shit felt like a semi-truck today. Look at this. Ripped out a good seven. Second exercise, guys, we're gonna do seated Smith machine shoulder press. Now, there's no need to do, you can do these free weight if you want, but the reason I did Smith machine on the second movement is because I already did the free weight movement. I already did a free weight compound movement standing. So, for the Smith machine, I wanna take advantage of getting that motion, of, that pressing motion without having to worry about stabilizing the bar. Full contraction on the shoulder, same thing hands uh except actually on this you want to have your hands a little bit wider than shoulder width smith machines are kind of awkward everybody's is different so you got to kind of move the seat around and figure out where yours is good in position to bring that bar down to that collarbone area i was talking about earlier <laughs> notice how i did that guys that's a very important thing take your shoulders it's called retracting the scapula you don't want to have your scapula protracted during pressing movements it's bad for your shoulders nice good form here like i said you don't have to come all the way down i came a little lower on that last rep but i don't want to get any kind of shoulder impingements from coming too low man i do not like having shoulder issues and i always struggle with my left shoulder so For me, today when I did this exercise, usually I keep my rep, my uh, sets around three sets, three to four sets per exercise. But now I've been kind of having fun. I'm on a cut. I've been keeping it somewhere between three. Sometimes I do four, depending on how I feel that day. <laughs> if you didn't notice that little dance I was doing, it's because I forgot to put the 25 on the other side. 
it wasn't for Lexi, I would have been one side would have been heavier and I would have been wondering what's going on. So make sure you double check the weights before you sit down, guys. I make mistakes too. I'm not perfect. Feeling that burn right here. Rip them out. Moving on to the next exercise. To finish off those front delts right here, y'all. I love these. This is the best front delt finisher that I know of, in my opinion. And that is the rope cable front raises. Now, you can do them with dumbbells, but it's a whole different game when you use cables. When you use those cables, you got constant tension, constant resistance, all the way up, all the way down. Make sure you're coming up. Keep those hands in a neutral position. Neutral is hands facing each other. And usually I don't go heavy on these. I usually stay around 15 pounds, but I was feeling good today. 25 pounds is pretty good for a front raise. So usually if I use a plate, I'll do, I'll do them like that too. By the way, let me throw that in there, why not? If somebody's ever on the cables and you can't get the cables, you can do these with a plate. Yeah, like I said, it's a different type of resistance, but you can do them with a uh, plate or you can do them with a dumbbell. Bam. Keep those feet closed and knees slightly bent. Bringing that rope up just above the chest line. Get a good squeeze on those front tips. Moving on to the lateral head. I like to pick my shoulders apart. Now we, we did the, uh, mainly we did our press movements first. And then we finished off the front delts. And now we're going on to that lateral head of the deltoid. And this is a super set. As I showed you guys, I had the 20s. And we do 15 reps with the 20s. And I set the 10s just like right behind me because right after that, we're gonna go right into a super set of more lateral raises but behind the back with 50 percent of the weight we started with so if you did the first set because i know everybody got different strengths if you did your first set with the 30s drop it down to the 15s bring your shoulders back like that and bring those dumbbells straight out and rep them out try to get 12 to 15 and like i said this is a super set no rest in between You will feel these bad boys. It's actually my favorite shoulder superset. I'm looking good in this video. I told Lexi she, she got some great angles in this, guys. I usually got to get those jank from the floor tripod angles, but it was really nice to have somebody to record. It makes a complete difference in your video. You can get a much, much better uh, workout in without having to stop in between each set and make sure you didn't just record your, your ankle or your knee when you set the camera up. I believe I went with three sets of these guys. Each set is the super set. You're definitely gonna feel them guys. That super set, if you can't get the 15 on that second set of the uh, with the, with the lighter dumbbells, at least go for 10 to 12. Hardest day is leg day. Mine is shoulders. It's my longest day. I think it's a total of, I don't know, the volume is ridiculous compared to my leg day. My leg day is painful, but as far as my heart rate and everything, shoulder day is a lot more stressful. Back to the exercise. Like I said in the video, guys, shoulder day is my hardest day. I feel shoulders more than leg day. And that's a fact. Now, it's mainly because it's the most volume. It's so many sets, man. I do four sets, everything sometimes. Drop sets, super sets. Just depend on the day. But shoulders, they on fire. My heart rate is high. And I usually get the craziest sweat and the craziest pump on shoulder day. If there's any day I want to take pictures on, it's post-shoulder day for sure 
I actually forgot to explain this exercise. Most people know what this one is, but for the fourth movement, we went with cable lateral raises. You want to lean towards it. It's actually been proven that when you lean away from the bar, you get a little more uh, shoulder activation. You get a more get more activation in that lateral head of the delt. You're able to bring the uh, cables up a little higher and tear a little more of those muscle fibers. As you can see on my next set, I switched it up a little bit. I went behind the back. Same thing, lean out, hold the post. You wanna have that hand in a pronated form. So you're holding that bar out there. That way you're not running your wrist into the cable as you come up. Full extension down, come up, squeeze. And these always give you a good burn. Moving on to the fifth exercise. Like I said, we gotta pick those shoulders apart, right? So we, ki we killed the front delts, we killed the uh, lateral head of the delt, and now we're doing the rear delts. If you've seen what I was just showing you guys, I was showing you the type of attachment I had. If you don't have this attachment right here, use the rope attachment. It's the same exercise, just a different hands, different hand position. I actually just discovered this grip at this gym this day i didn't know we had it here i like to use this one at another gym i go to so if you guys have that one right there or you can actually just rig it you can take two of the cable the one i did the lateral raises with you could take two of those attach them to the same cable and just pull them apart it won't give you the same range of motion as this one does but it's close enough keep those elbows high come back and squeeze pull that cable towards your forehead that's why it's called face pulls you don't want to pull it to your chest that's too low and you don't want to pull it too high because then you'll start getting a little bit more of the upper traps we're going for the rear delt so you want to have those elbows out to the sides at a 90 degree angle like i said if you have it too low guys you'll end up hitting the lats you don't want to hit the lats today we're trying to do a rear delt roll not a lat roll Moving on, next exercise, reverse flies. As you see, I showed you on the machine, very good for that rear deltoid. That's what we're hitting today. Slightly lean forward. And when you come back, like always, when you hit rear delts, you wanna keep those uh, elbows high. You gotta keep your elbows high or else you will target more lats. That upper lat rhomboid area. Come back, squeeze, control it. None of that flying around. If you gotta take your body and jerk back and do all this swinging, the weight is too goddamn high. Lower the weight, humble yourself, and take responsibility. Be responsible in the gym. The whole point of this is longevity. See how I'm showing you on my hand position? Neutral. If you have trouble targeting your rear delts, try that. Try taking your palms and facing them in. That's a neutral position. Same motion, bring them back, keep those elbows up, squeeze those rear delts. Bam. Bam, just watching the video, it looked like it feel good. Good contraction on the back. I actually might be having a video coming out for you guys, man. It'll be three exercises for the rear delts to show people. Or it might just be more than three exercises, six exercises. Who knows? But I know rear delts for a lot of people are hard to bring up. And it definitely separates you from the pack. If you got some strong rear delts or well-developed rear delts, and you do that rear double bicep pose, you definitely look different from everybody else. And for my final exercise, guys, we got the king of the shoulder exercises. Barbell shrugs, baby. 
Now, some people prefer to do their shrugs on a back day. Some people do it on shoulder day. I alternate it. If I have the time, I do it with my shoulders. If I don't, I do it with my back day. It depends. So, simple. You want to have that, that rack set up right at the knee level. That way, you can just pick that bar up, step back, and hit those shrugs. And shrugs are as simple as they look. I always make the joke to my clients and people. I say, just say, I don't know. The motion of saying, I don't know. Shrug them shoulders up and try to touch them to your ears. You won't be able to get them there, but you'll get a better contraction if that's what you picture. That grip, shoulder width apart. You see how it's perfectly shoulder width apart? Stick your hands out in front of you and bring them straight down. And that's where your grip should be for these guys. Boom. Boom, straight up. Squeeze the traps at the top. This is how you get those big ass traps, man. You want those traps to look good in those stringers and them tank tops. Or you want them to poke through the shirt, you got to do your shrugs, man. Today, I didn't go no heavier than 225. I could shrug up to at least four or five plates, but my left trap been giving me trouble lately. So, which leads into what the, I'm showing you guys here straps. There's nothing wrong with using straps. If you don't, your grip will give out before your traps do. And the point here is to get a trap workout. Ignore what everybody else got to say. Their opinion don't matter. You might have people like, oh, you're a pussy for using straps. Nobody give a damn about their opinion. What other people think about you is none of your business. One more heavy set. Come back. Shrug. Full workout will be in the description, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you got any questions, feel free to comment below. Alright, guys, that was the full shoulder workout. Definitely killed that. That was a bomb workout, wasn't it, babe? Definitely. Killed it. I'm gonna put the full workout in the description. Hope y'all enjoyed the workout. That's one of my hardest routines I have. My hardest day is my shoulder day, so try it at your own risk. Anyways. If anybody needs any workout plans or nutrition guides, head to HerdesBaseFitness.com. You already know I'm gonna put the link right here and download your workout plan or a customized macro-based nutrition guide. If you're local and you're watching this and you need personal training, email me or DM me on my Instagram page or on my Facebook business page and get with me so I can set you up with a consultation and fitness assessment for free. Thank y'all for watching the video. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. If everybody watches the videos, but they don't ever like the videos. That's very important. It helps me grow my channel. I'm trying to make a movement here, guys. Help you boy out. Like the video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I keep the content coming. Hercules out.